Welcome back to People Playground. I am currently on this huge water base right here because I plan on feeding Bloop some SCP characters. Look, Bloop is ready. Bloop is very, very hungry right now. Also, just for scale, that is Bloop right there. And that is the water base on the left. So yeah, Bloop is huge. Right, no one look at SCP-096. Don't look at his face. God, just, just nudge him off. Here we go. That's it. In you go into the water. Imagine if SCP-096 was actually able to kill Bloop. Can he even swim? <laughs> I don't know. Right, Bloop. This is not a monster you want to actually look at. Uh, mind the boat as well. Please don't, uh, you know, attack us. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, probably should have moved the boat. That's, that's not good. All right, now go ahead and eat SCP-096. Oh, I'm seeing blood. Could this be the best way? to kill this guy oh okay in between the teeth oh i think is scp-096 dead and just so you know in this video we are also giving bloop quite a lot of different scp characters so scp-096 is just the start yeah i think it's fair to say shy guy is down bloop loved it also i love the fact that we have d-class personnel just hanging out over here we are currently prepping them to also be fed to the sea monster but luckily there's already one ready let's just go ahead and tase him and we're gonna bring him over right he's still knocked out that's it off you go please uh also do we uh do we maybe cook this guy a little bit for bloop maybe he likes ragdolls well done let's find out oh, by the time we're in the water we should be cooked okay there we go wait why why is my foot still on fire how is that even possible hey bloop got you some fresh meat and cook this time sort of anyway okay hope you enjoy <laughs> oh and shy guy is also still there i wonder if bloop preferred the d-class personnel lovely whoa 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 whoa! careful bloop careful do not get close to the base all right we do actually have this turret right here you know things do get a little bit ugly we can go ahead and shoot bloop worst case scenario i think this mtf guy might be a little bit scared of the next guy we're sending into the sea um and that's because it's scp 173 you know the peanut guy hey don't be scared it's all right you know we've contained these guys everything is under control you're safe now come on up you get that's it all right now just go ahead push that guy into the ocean yep there we go nice good throw oh down he goes whoa okay bloop i hope you like peanuts here we go eat up oh uh uh oh Whoa, careful no 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 oh oh no soldier down i don't think he actually meant to do that where's where's scp-173 does, does anyone does anyone know where the peanut is well that's uh that is not good a, a lot of people have died during these experiments uh which isn't ideal okay i'm gonna need you to get off we have to fire a little bit that's it suppress just make bloop move a little bit okay there we go good good blue next up scp 106 so i'm pretty sure this is the old man right <laughs> this one's a little creepy um and i say for extra security we just go ahead and shoot him off the edge does that work why are the bullets phasing right through him okay you know what maybe we bring out the big guns fire ah ah too powerful oh what the oh no okay we need to clean up hazmat guy we need you right now get up here what are you, why are you on the floor get up there we go oh just hit his face on the table. All right, we need you to clean up something, all right? Is he knocked out? Okay, scientist, clean up falls to you, okay? Ooh, oh no, oh no. Let's just give what's left of him to bloop. Ah! There's an arm on the turret. Right, just go ahead and push him off. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what scientist would actually push one of these guys off like this. Uh, that is just ridiculous. That's it, just a little bit more. Okay, good job. Whoa, scientist, watch your step. No, oh, he's going down as well. <laughs> Okay, you guys are both screwed. Oh, here comes Bloop. Hey, Bloop, do you mind just not eating the scientist? We need him for, well, science and, you know, to log all the experiments. We do. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Now the experiments will never be logged. Great. Hopefully there's another scientist about somewhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Okay, shoot. Shoot again. Bloop's getting too close. All of you. I would fire. Yes. Ah, what the? Oh, no. Hmm. All right uh okay so we're running out of uh some soldiers here but there's still more experiments to conduct um what is going on with shy guy <laughs> oh that's that's kind of messed up right next up we've got the plague doctor i've now trusted the hazmat guy with the gun that killed the last dude you know since we are pretty low on staff now 
this could be a terrible idea. Okay, so just, I guess, shoot him. Oh, why is this gun like that? Why is it so powerful? I don't get it. How is any user supposed to use that? Oh, we've knocked out the guy behind us. Great. Come on. Ah, yeah, that's that's just never going to work. Where's... Oh, <gasps> no. Hazmat guy is, um, well, gone. <laughs> Right, we should probably never use that weapon ever again. Oh, <laughs> sorry, buddy. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Everyone's getting messed up. Man, these experiments are deadly. Can we, uh, can we tase the plague doctor? I guess there really is only one way to find out. Right, open fire. Oh, hey, it worked. That's it. Come on. Whoa, what the? He kicked the taser up. Maybe we need to tase him one more time. <laughs> yes, and he's going down. All right. So it looks like you can swim somewhat, but can you survive being eaten alive by bloop? Let's find out, shall we? Here comes the sea monster. All right, enjoy the plague doctor. Is he dead? I, I think he might be. Oh, oh no, he's behind the pillar. Oh, okay. We might have some damage being done to the facility here. Wait, oh no, no. Oh, the D-Class personnel flying all over the place. Uh, okay, so we don't really have any guards really to protect this place anymore. And it looks like Bloop is taking advantage of that, trying to destroy it. Oh, oh no. What are you doing? Oh, D-Class personnel down. And the crane is being destroyed as well. Quick, fire the tank. It's, it's not really working too well. Everything is being destroyed as we speak. Um, and yet yeah, somehow Shy Guy is still there. I think this might be the last guy alive. This person right here. All right, listen up. I've got a plan. I'm going to give you the tank. Just jump in the tank and then take down Bloop, okay? That's it. Come on. Oh, 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 no. Um. All right. Well, it looks like we really don't have any more defenses. This base now belongs to Bloop. And there's nothing we can do about it unless maybe there is one thing we could do i've got here a missile now i have never launched this before so i am a little bit worried that it goes wrong but the plan is we're gonna launch this uh it's also got a nuke in it as you can probably tell so yeah we're gonna aim for bloop and kill him once and for all okay well here's the launch button so mr scientist if you would just like to go ahead and press that button that's it nice and easy now <laughs> okay oh it's working yes Launch the missile! Missile away! Oh, that is epic! But, um, how do we lock into blue? Wait, did... No! Ah! We hit the ceiling! Uh, did I do any damage to Bloop? He, he looks fine. Oh, we didn't lock into him. Uh, that missile, I think, costs millions. And millions? Ah, uh, oh dear. This might be the dumbest idea I have ever had. So, this right here is a fishing boat, and attached to it is a nuke. Now, as you can tell, the nuke is currently floating. So if we give it some weight, maybe it might just sink down and we should be able to take out Bloop because we're very close to him. So I say we slowly creep the boat right in front of him or maybe just above him, release the atom bomb and then get out of there. All right, full speed ahead. Okay, here we go. I mean, it still weighs a lot, right? It just, for some reason, doesn't want to sink. It's working, though. Also, this is like the loudest boat in existence. So, Bloop is definitely listening to us right now. Let's just hope he doesn't attack. Oh, he's getting a little agitated by the looks of things. Come on, fishing boat. This is the slowest attack ever. Unfortunately, it also does mean the complete end of this base right here. It doesn't stand a chance once we go ahead and deliver the payload. They're just watching very, very closely right now. Oh, all right. Almost there. Oh, oh wait, what the? Oh, it came, it came loose. It came loose. Um, oh, no, we need stop the engine. Stop. We need to go back. How did that happen? All right, you know what? I say we just go ahead and add the weights right now and drop it because I think, yeah, we're above bloop. That'll do, I think. Hopefully one ton should do the trick. Okay, here we go. Ooh, probably shouldn't do that with a nuke. Oh, it's sliding off. Uh, okay, we need another weight. And it's attached. Right, it's slowly going down. Hopefully we can speed up the process by adding more weight. So how about 10 tons? That's more like it. All right, we're speeding up the process. And as soon as the bomb reaches Bloop here, we're just going to go ahead and detonate. Yeah, bomb. It's in place. 
All right, three, two, one, detonate. Yes, die bloop. Uh, bloop? You're not affected? Oh, wait. Um, bloop has turned orange. Does that mean he's more powerful? Should I be worried about this? Is this now atomic bloop? Hey, look, it's a megalodon shark. I wonder who would win in a fight. Let's find out. Oh, well, the megalodon shark is so much smaller and just gone straight into his mouth. Great. I think Megalodon Shark is uh, is dead. I mean, that was an easy win right there to the orange bloop. Check out this bridge right here. It's filled with vehicles and also people inside. But it's fine because, you know, they're D-class personnel. And now here comes upgraded bloop to go ahead and destroy everything. All right, Bushy needs to get out of there right now. Drive. Oh, it's a laggy mess. Okay, well, here comes Bloop once again. Didn't know that Bloop was a fan of vehicles, but, well, here we are, I guess. Oh, boy. It is so laggy. Whoa, there goes the bus in, like, four frames per second. I mean, it's still pretty epic, though. Oh, I wonder if we have any survivors. Uh, it looks like we have a few, maybe. Oh, no, it's going to land on the RV. Ooh. Oh, up there it is. Yep. And down goes the bus into the water along with everyone that's inside it the sea monster has moved out and now lives in lava which um i think makes more sense look at that having a great time anyway i need to go ahead and make sure this guy dies so right above i um i have all these different bombs right here now i'm hoping that once they hit the lava they're all just gonna blow up and hopefully kill blue so let's find out shall we that's a lot of explosions oh, oh there we go Oh, okay. Stuff is still going on, um, but it had no effect. Okay, uh, what else could I use? Let me try the fusion bomb again. Whoa, pretty much a nuke. He is unaffected. Right, energy vessel. Yes, oh, we're doing damage, but is it going to be enough? Whoa, that's very powerful. And yet, bloop lives on. What about a stop sign? Yeah, I know that was a stupid idea. Well, you've left me no choice but to send in all of these nukes right here. Yes! Uh, it hasn't, it hasn't worked. Great. Well, subscribe!